Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Markets, where we bring you up to date with the key events in asset markets over the past 24 hours. Today, we'll look to focus in on two stories that we think is a true, a true potential are really interesting. One, what's happening with the European Central Bank today, and two, the presidential election race in the US. So you'll see today we've got the yellow t-shirts on supporting the Chronicle Sunshine Fund for the Great North Run. Great North Run's not taking place this year. We would normally be supporting that as a business. What are we going to do today? We're all going out to, to run half a mile around the car park, bringing that all together. The team at True Potential will be running a half marathon here this afternoon. Turning then just to asset markets and thinking about how they've performed over the past 24 hours, we discussed the volatility in markets uh, yesterday and at the end of last week. We saw a positive performance yesterday from technology sector in the US and that fed through into to global markets with Europe, UK up marginally and then into Asia overnight we saw a stronger performance. Looking back at those two points of the initially wanting to talk about the ECB, so we get the conclusion of the ECB meeting today. We're not expecting any change to policy in terms of the pandemic support programme or the interest rates. It will be interesting, however, to hear what is discussed in terms of the economic outlook as the ECB see it, and also some comments, if any, that they might make around the strength of the euro. If you cast our minds back over the past number of months, we've been talking about dollar weakness. One of the key beneficiaries there has been the euro, so we will wait to see this afternoon how that's discussed. The other thing that we discussed this morning as a team was a change or a subtle change within the, the Democratic um, nominee Biden in terms of his approach to the presidential election, setting out an economic um, agenda that one could say is, is very comparable to that of, of Trump and what has been discussed in, in recent weeks, particularly looking to increase taxes on those US corporations that source a significant proportion of their goods out with the US or offshore employees from the US to, to other areas of the globe. So something that is, has echoes of bringing it back to that Made in America campaign that President Trump used in the previous election, something that, that Biden is also using at this point in time. I think that speaks to the, the closeness of the race as it stands at the moment and something that we'll continue to monitor over the coming weeks. That's it for today. Please join us again tomorrow. Subscribing to True Potential YouTube channel is quick and easy. Simply go to your YouTube app on your phone, type in True Potential and press the red subscribe option. You'll then be notified as and when new videos are released.